Hi everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to Crafter Nance. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be doing a craft inspired by one of my favorite children's books. And maybe it's one of your favorites too. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So we are going to make caterpillars of our own. For the materials that you'll need today, you're going to need a, an egg carton. Uh, this will work best with a cardboard egg carton rather than a plastic, so you want one like this. Next, you're going to need some scissors. Then, to decorate the egg carton and make the caterpillar, I would recommend paint. We've got tempera paint, which is very washable and easy for kids to work with. So you'll need a few colors depending on what you want your caterpillar to look like. If you have a copy of The Very Hungry Caterpillar at home, you could use that for inspiration. But if not, you could just imagine what a caterpillar, what colors a caterpillar might need. Uh, you'll also need a brush to go with that paint. We like to put our paint on a paper plate so we can put big glops of it, um, but you can work that out however you'd like. You are going to need some finishing touches. So if you've got them, I would recommend a pipe cleaner to make the antenna and some googly eyes. If you don't have these, you can cut them out of paper for your egg carton. Um, you could just decorate eyes right onto the, the body of the egg carton itself. But if you're working with pipe cleaner and or uh, googly eyes, you're also going to want some glue. So I've got regular school glue here. So um, I will invite you to pause the video if you need to get those materials together. And if you're ready, let's start making that caterpillar. First, you'll want to cut the extra pieces off your egg carton. We're just cutting along the seams of the flap and the lid, so you'll remove those and set them aside. Next, you'll pick the size of your caterpillar. We're gonna make one that has three bumps, but you could choose to make a longer caterpillar if you'd like. This can be tricky cutting, so you'll see I did it rather than my daughter, but you'll just wanna cut between the egg carton holders until you have the size of caterpillar you want. Now it's time to paint and decorate your caterpillar. Here's where we realized we needed paper underneath our caterpillar to catch any drips. So that's a good reminder that you can always stop and change your plan if you need to. Now we're gluing on the googly eyes to the front of the caterpillar. To make the antenna, you cut your pipe cleaner to the size you like, and then uh, you'll see that I poked holes in the cardboard in order to stick the antenna in. So that's an adult job because poking through cardboard can be difficult. want to let your cat 
caterpillar dry before you add the eyeballs and antenna. We were a little pressed for time, but it would be easier to handle if you let it dry. Here's our finished Very Hungry Caterpillar. Enjoy!